We live in an era of a new visuality, the mass of visual information, graphics, animation, and the emergence of the so-called creative class of artists, filmmakers, and their products allow us to identify different styles of new visual digital aesthetics. In this video, we analyze what is vaporwave, trippy, grime, glitch art, and how these forms of art are reflected in the media space that we perceive. Namely, what the basic elements, key colors of each style, and how they are embodied in reality, in ads, TV commercials, famous music videos, or little-known visual artifacts. All the new visuals can be defined by the thesis Dirty Digital, initially widespread of trash pictures and availability of graphics editors for creating graphics and image processing, Photoshop, after Effects, Bleeder, Da Vinci, and others formed the first established digital subcultures. And the first style we will talk about is Vaporwave. Style characterized by a nostalgic or surrealistic vision of retro cultural aesthetics of 1980s and 1990s, with its entertainment, technology, consumer culture, and advertising. The main elements are the dialogue windows of early OS Windows releases, slow data visualization processes, rendering grids and exotic elements, hieroglyphs, palm trees, space panorama. New life in this style was breathed by the film Kung Fury about the collision of a policeman and Adolf Hitler in 1985. The money for this film was raised with crowdfunding platform. Another example is Video Little Big, which is more even exploiting the images of the movie Kong Fury than the style of Vaporwave. But all the classic attributes are there – violet, special music, sunset, cars on the cellular road like from the movie Throne or The Lawnmower Man. An example of clip art from Instagram. And another example of pure use of style is advertising of Russian food retailer Perikrostak. Somewhat similar to the vaporwave style, sea punk. Sea punk is inspired by the aesthetics of the seas. There are always dolphins, palm trees, waves, and seashells including pyramids, bright colors, beach scenes and dreamscapes. But if in Vaporwave we were talking about late 80s, early 90s, then sea punk uses images of cyberpunk culture of the 2000s. It's a very marginal style. There are not many famous works in this style that would go beyond small Instagram accounts. One such is video by Azealia Banks, Atlantis. It features the visual aesthetic of 90s, dance videos and primitive computer graphics against the background of simple visual video collages. The triumvirate of nostalgic styles of the late 20th century closes with web punk. Web punk is a style reminiscent of the early internet. Unlike the previous two trends that grew out of musical subcultures, this one is a purely visual phenomenon and is inspired by the aesthetics of glamour of the 90s. Pink, lilac and purple colors and elements of high art prevail here. Antique states, columns, images of Madonnas. At the same time, web punk retains elements of vaporwave and sea rock in the form of media archaeology of the Windows 98 era floppy disks, VHS cassettes, dolphins and palm trees. The first landmark work I would point out – video Young Lin Hurt in 2013, which brings together all the clichés of digital subculture aesthetics. The video is emphasized as home video, silly dancing on a chroma key background, subsequently edited with a lot of digital garbage. The video for Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber's joint song I Don't Care 
looks like an homage to Yong Ling. So I don't care when I'm with my baby, yeah. All the bad things disappear. Yeah, you're making me feel like maybe I am somebody. I can deal with the bad night. In Brunette, a good example of web funk can be considered the titles of the stand-up program What Happened Next. Psychedelia or Trippy Psychedelia is based on the subculture of the 1960s and is associated with the widespread use of psychotropic drugs and narcotics. That's why style is called trippy. Psychedelic style works usually recreate or reflect the experience of altered consciousness. This art exploits highly distorted, surrealistic visual effects, vivid colors and full spectrum, and also animation, included cartoons, to evoke, convey, or amplify a sense of psychedelia. The origins of aesthetics are in the Art Nouveau style, where female figures, often half-naked and with long hair, a variety of flowers, decorative patterns, and abstract curves were migrated into psychedelia of the 60s. The music posters of those years, Rolling Stone, Jefferson and Airplane, and Velvet Underground gave an impetus to the development of the style. Artists of this trend were simultaneously inspired by surrealism and comic book aesthetics. Having undergone a second birth in modernity and art absorbed even more acidity, the colors became more holographic and contrasting. The style is rarely used in commercial, but is gaining popularity on NFT marketplaces. Currently, we can point out the covers and aesthetic of the band Tape Impala, which even musically continues the tradition of psychedelic rock of the 60s. Mm -hmm.